हे एवरी वन दिस इज थ्रुवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू ग्लोबल पावर प्लेटफॉर्म बोट कैम्प ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई पावर बी आई हिंड्स ऑन सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट अवर सी डी एस और डेटा अवर स्टेबल टू पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप एंड हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड द ब्यूटिफुल रिपोर्ट एंड डैशबोर्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ पावर बी आई सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Before we get started let me give you a little bit introduction about me and some instruction for this hands on session myself thruvinsha and i am working as power platform specialist and microsoft 365 developer in one of the reputed company at gujarat ahmedabad i am a active blogger and youtuber having published 120 plus article and 480 plus tech videos on my channel you can follow me on all my social media handles the links are available in the description box of this video Also you can simply click on this link it will be redirecting you to this page here you can follow me on my youtube linkedin blogs twitter facebook and github repository now let me give you a little bit instruction about this hands on before you get started first of all you need to install power bi desktop in your machine so just go to the prerequisites section and download the power bi desktop with the provided link and you should have active microsoft 365 account or power bi trial activated in your tenant these are two different prerequisites that you should have now one more important thing the hands on that i am representing you on the screen at this moment as well as the sample power bi desktop file that we are going to prepare at the end of the session will be uploaded on my github repository the links are available at the very bottom of the hands on as well as in the description box so download everything from there now let's get started with our actual session agenda with connecting the cds or data verse table with power bi desktop one more important thing hope you attended our earlier session for power apps with data verse and you have already created that data verse table schema over there if you missed that session don't worry i will provide you the steps for creating the cds or data verse table over here but you already prepared the data verse schema or table schema then you can directly connect it to the power bi desktop you can skip few part of this session and just join us directly for the power bi connection part now first of all i am explaining you how you can create cds or data verse table if you haven't created so far so first of all open up this hands on and here i have provided the steps for connecting cds or data verse table into power bi desktop here i have provided the steps from following you can build your data verse table schema so let me show you that thing in detail so first of all open the page number 19 where i have provided every field over here first of all open up your browser window now open make.powerapps.com go to the data section and click on tables you need to create a table named device order so first of all click on new table it will open this pop up in the left navigation and provide the table name as device order and click on create i already created that so i'm just clicking on close once you create your table it will appear into table section just click on your table name now we need to prepare the table schema for that click on add column and now give the different column names over here just open the hands on that i have provided here all the column names are mentioned so let's say if you want to create the device name column with data type text you just need to copy the column name and provide its data type as text and click on done similar way you need to create all the columns the data type as well as column name is provided here once you create all the columns it will appear under the column section now if you want to check that how many columns you have created then from here you just need to filter out by custom so that will show you all the custom columns that has been created by you so hope so far you are good with me you have created your cds or data verse table successfully now it's time to connect our cds or data verse table with your power bi desktop go to the setting here and click on advanced settings it will redirecting you to dynamics 365 business management now from here you just need to copy this url because this is something that you are going to use while connecting your power bi desktop let's copy that now open your power bi desktop 
For that, go to the Start menu and search for the Power BI. And let's open up the Power BI Desktop. At the end of the video, we will be able to create this type of report. Now, first of all, let me give you the overall idea about the schema that we are going to use over here. So basically, this is the device order schema where let's say user want to request different types of devices. Now those devices will go through the approval process. The approval will reject or approve the device. Upon successful approval, user will be able to use the device that they have requested. Now let's get started with building the report development. So first of all, let's say we wanted to have one year filter on our report page. So let's add one slicer from here and let's search for the created date over here. So let's search for created on and now let's drag the year fill. And here you will be able to see that the slicer has been prepared. Now let's say I want to check how many device requests do I received. So for that let's add one card and let's just wanted to have that how many device requests are there. So it has the unique order ID that device order ID. So let's search for that column and now let's track that column device order ID. Now that will print the first device order ID. Now expand that and click on count distinct. So that will show total orders over here. Let's rename the field as total orders. Now similar way. I just wanted to have that how many device request has been approved. For that let's add one card and now let's just create one measure to calculate that how many approved requests are there. So let's just click or right click here, create new measure, open up your hands on and here you will be able to see the formula that I have used here. So that is approved order. So let's have that formula to be created here approved order is equal to let's use calculate function inside that use distinct count device order id then we just need to have one filter function where status is equal to approved approval status display is equal to approve and let's hit enter our formula has been created successfully now let's track column over here and here you can see that approved orders now let's say for an example I just wanted to have a functionality that I want to see that for each individual device, how many requests do we received? For that, let's add one cluster column chart. Let's place it over here. And now let's drag the column inside that. So I just wanted to have total orders by device name. So let's search for the device name. So that is available here. Let's drag it to axis. And let's say how many requests do we received? So uh, we just wanted to have the device order ID count. So let's search for device order ID and we just wanted to add it to value and let's have it to count distinct. Now let's rename this field total order total order by device name right. Now let's say I just wanted to prepare one graph where I want to see that for each individual month how many requests has been received how many are approved and how many are rejected. For that, let's just prepare one simple graph. Let's add this tag column chart. Now, let's say we on axis, we just wanted to have uh, for each individual month, how many device order ID we received. So first of all, we have device order ID. Let's drag it to values. And now on axis, let's drag month. We have created on. So let's drag its month property. So for each individual month, how many orders we received we just printed that now let's say uh, we just wanted to check the approval status as well so let's say I'm searching for approval status so approval status display column is there let's add it to legend and here you can see that 
approve, reject and blank. So this will show for each month how many device order we received and how many of them are approved or rejected. Now let's rename the columns. So this has been prepared successfully. Now we wanted to have some tabular information in our report. So let's add one table visualization and let's drag the different properties over here. Like let's search for device name, then its price, then its request date, wanted to have date only, then approval status display, comments, then approved date, then approver. Now let's rename the stuff device name, price, request date, approval status, comments, approved date, approver. Now let's just increase the width, right? So our report has been prepared properly. Now we just need to do some formatting in our report. So let's select this visualization, go to the format pen, let's apply shadow. Let's see, I just wanted to have the center position shadow. So this will looking like this. Now just use the format painter and apply it to everywhere. And this formatting is something which is totally optional. You can try the different formatting properties and you can apply it over there based on your requirement and your project theme right now let's just arrange this visualization properly so that it will look nice so i'm just arranging this cards and everything and then arrange the then format the table a little bit so the report has been prepared successfully now let's save this thing let's give the proper name for your report now it's time to publish the report so make sure that you have signed in your power bi desktop with your microsoft 365 account and let's click on publish publish the report to my workspace the report has been published successfully click on open this report so that will open up the report into power bi service or if you want to go to your service account directly just open up your Power BI service account using app.powerbi.com. From the left navigation, click on My Workspace. Now let's search for the report. So that will show this report to us. And this will looking like this. Now let's prepare our dashboard. Let's say I just wanted to have this particular visualization in the dashboard. So let's pin this visual. And now Let's create a new dashboard. I, my dashboard name should be GPPBYT. And let's pin this visual. So that has added over there. Similar way, let's say I want to add this table as well. So let's pin that and let's add it to our existing dashboard that is GPPBYT and pin it. And now let's click on go to dashboard. So here you can see that the dashboard has been prepared successfully. So this is how we can easily prepare our Power BI report and dashboard in Power BI desktop. Hope this is clear for you now. So here we have completed our entire hands-on in detail. Now if you have any question you can directly reach out to me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can connect me on any of my social media handles. The files that I have shown you are available in my GitHub repository. You can directly download everything from there. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. Also, if you are interested to listen different Power Bottom related audiogram, you can just click on this link. This will redirect you to my podcast homepage. From here, you can listen your favorite Power Platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. Also, if you are interested to learning on Instagram, here is the Insta ID from me. 
you can follow me on the power platform guy on instagram and listen and learn different concept of power platform over there if you are interested to listen different short video related power platform here is a separate channel called digital thruvin subscribe that channel as well and show your love over there this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye